I'm Jess and welcome to my channel. I read mostly classics and mystery, sometimes horror and other genres mixed in occasionally. Um, I hope you subscribe if you want to stay up to date with whatever I'm doing. <laughs> you clicked on this video to see a review or hear a review about The Woods by Harlan Coben. Now this is my first book I've read by him. It was good. I liked it. It's been over 20 years since county prosecutor Paul Copeland lost his sister at summer camp one fateful night in the woods. Uh, his sister was named Camille and she was murdered along with three others. Paul, he was 18 at the time, a camp counselor. He was supposed to keep watch that night and it happened on his watch because he was busy making out with his girlfriend and all he could do was hear screams and feels kind of guilty about what happened. Two of the bodies were found and the other two, one of them his sister Camille and the other this guy named Gil, they their bodies were never recovered. Now they caught the guy, the serial killer, and then he's killed other people other places and he confessed to killing, I think he confessed, well they caught him, but he never told them, the police, where these other two bodies are. So Paul's been wondering his whole life, well since that incident, <laughs> where his sister is. The beginning of the book starts off with this dad is digging around. If, if you watch my quick to judge tag, that was the first thing I read, which made, really pulled me in. Cause I'm like, what is happening? So his father's digging around the woods, trying to look for his daughter. I thought it was something more sinister, to be honest. I thought maybe his father was, I don't know, burying bodies or something. I don't know, but. I was wrong. You know, all this is in the past, but now things are just coming back to the surface. It, starts off with these policemen who go to Paul and say, hey, we have a few questions for you. Do you know a man named Manolo Santiago? And, okay, that name sounds kind of cool. I don't know. <laughs> Manolo Santiago. But Paul's like, no, I never heard of him. He's a county prosecutor, so it's like, well, maybe someone during, I don't know, trial, the legal process might have had an issue with him but he's like no i don't know that name at all and they're like well this man was found dead with your address in his pocket and article clippings about that night in the woods he's like let me see this man so he got to look at him and he doesn't recognize him right away anyway but then later on he does so i don't want to reveal too much about who this man is but it does raise questions because this is someone from his past and it kind of just unfolds from there. Another character of interest is Lucy Silverstein. She actually changed her name to Gold because she was the girlfriend of Paul and the daughter of the camp count or the camp owner. <laughs> and she was there that night and survived obviously, but also traumatized she is a professor at a university teaching a class about psychology and trauma and creative writing. Now I kind of have an issue with the assignment that she gives her students while it is anonymous. Like why is this even assigned to be honest? Because she has them write a real or imagined traumatic experience uh, like a journal entry and they all submit it anonymous anonymously through the computer <laughs> and I just think it's kind of messed up that okay I want you to write about a traumatic experience you experienced I mean I don't know if this is a voluntary thing but forcing people to go through that like relive it like writing about it when I don't know that that seems like a forced thing and then another thing is have people make up a traumatic experience that kind of just sounds weird to me. I I don't know. I just like, this can't be a real assignment. I've got a degree in psychology and I've never had an assignment like that. But but anyway, um, yeah, I kind of had an issue with that. But otherwise, she gets a general entry about that night 
from her perspective. And she's like, who knows about this? Who knows these details about my life? So that raises questions and she doesn't want that journal entry to be anonymous anymore. She investigates that and down the line, her and Paul end up meeting up and the sparks are flying. But don't worry, this isn't like a romantic story. But uh, yeah, I like, well, apart from that whole weird psychology assignment, a little bit of stereotyped characters. We have like a flamboyant gay man, because um, Paul is ha try he has a case going on right now, and he's up against another lawyer. <laughs> I don't know the legal lingo, but he's kind of like a flamboyant gay man. <laughs> I feel like that was a little bit stereotyped, but I mean, some guys are like that. Apart from all that, I thought it was a good paced novel, but it is kind of long for a thriller. It's like over five, no, yeah, it's like 500 pages. I, I went through it in a decent amount of time, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I gave it three stars. I don't know if I really like saying how many stars I give it, that just seems so subjective. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. Yeah, I thought it was a decent read. Uh, well, so I hope you liked my review. <laughs> I have a hard time talking about mystery and thriller books, even though I do like reading them as a break from more classics when I kind of have to read more carefully to try to... I don't know. And they, they generally have like big themes and you know these sort of things you can talk about and it's like thrillers are kind of more just like hey this is happening this is happening and sometimes I'm like I don't know <laughs> what to talk about anyway um so practice makes perfect right <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you like this uh do you, have you read any Harlan Coben books any good ones to recommend me I did watch the Netflix series The Stranger I really like that and I would like to read the book sometime if I come across it somewhere. I remember I really liked the show. Yeah, it's like I it's been a long enough time that I think I don't really remember it too well. Um yeah, so <laughs> I guess I'll go. Bye.